This video will show how to store values in the TID4 and then perform calculations with the stored values. Suppose you want to find the sum, difference, product, and quotient of 52,991,926 and 34,587. Instead of having to type these numbers four times, you can store them in the TID4 and easily perform the calculations. Let's store the first number in A and the second number in B. Once we have the values stored in A and B, we can calculate the following. A plus B, A minus B, A times B, and A divided by B. So let's go to the calculator. We begin by entering in the first number, which again is 52,991,926. Next we press store, which is this button here. We want to store this in A. Notice the A is above the math button in green, which means we press alpha math to bring up A. And then we press enter to store the number in A. And now let's store the second number in B. We first enter the number, which is 34,587. We want to store this in B, so we press store. Notice B is above the apps button in green, so we press alpha apps for B and then we press enter. And now that we have the values stored in A and B, we can easily perform the operations using A and B. Let's first find A plus B. So we press alpha math for A, and then plus alpha apps for B, and then enter. Next we have A minus B, which is alpha math for A, minus alpha apps for B, enter. Next we have A times B, which is alpha math for A times alpha apps for B, enter. Notice how here we do have scientific notation. We have the coefficient of the mantissa times 10 raised to the power of 12. And the last operation was A divided by B, which again is alpha math divided by alpha apps and enter. I do want to mention, after we entered A plus B, we could have done one more thing to save some time. If I press second enter, it brings up the previous entry, which can then be edited. For example, here I could arrow over to the division and change the division to multiplication, for example, and then press enter. So if I didn't want to have to press alpha math and alpha apps every time for A and B, I could press again second enter, which brings up the previous entry, and then edit the entry by changing, in this case, the operation. I hope you found this helpful.